Hey guys, Taju22 here, and um, this will be the Elimination Chamber Super Show, and uh, without further ado, let's get to the preview. Uh, the first match being made uh, is the Unified Tag Team Championship match uh, between the challengers, the former champions, uh, Pikachu and Mario who are dead set on trying to take back what was theirs, that they lost in a tournament uh, for those very championships that uh, m that my best friend Dijano and myself won, representing Wii 4. Uh, the reason for the tournament was because they didn't uh, was because the former champions didn't uh, defend their titles at the Royal Rumble Super Show. And, um, needless to say, they lost it in the first round, and, um, uh, Digino and myself would go on to win the tournament and the championships. So, needless to say, Pikachu and Mario want their titles back. Alright, next match is for the Intercontinental Championship, and it's between the champion MB MVP, Montel Vontavious Porter, against Pikachu. That's right, Pikachu has two matches thus far. Uh, he became the he won a number one contender match to become the number one contender to the title. Very simple. And MVP was the champion. Uh, he became the champion at the Royal Rumble. So, uh, yeah, Pikachu has been the champion, but has always had to give it up because he was a part of, you know, he was one half of the Unified Tag Team Championships, and uh, he didn't want to be too greedy. But assuming if Pikachu and Mario don't get the job done, and Pikachu somehow wins the Intercontinental Championship, then Pikachu won't mind. He wouldn't. Uh, third match is a bonus match. Um, the bonus match will be... Between, drum roll please, Chuck Norris versus Bruce Lee. Yep, that epic feud that they've had that all started with the movie Way of the Dragon, uh, where Bruce Lee kicked Chuck Norris's ass. Uh, thus far, Chuck Norris has beaten Bruce Lee. Uh, series wise, uh, Norris leads one nothing. If Norris wins, the feud is over. But if Bruce Lee wins, well, it just continues. Okay. Now the fourth match is actually a big one, real, real, real big one. Um. Uh, after the Royal Rumble, I had a poll, in which. Uh, it was kind of like after, like the Royal Rumble to me was like uh, combining the rules of the traditional Royal Rumble where the winner, you know, gets uh, gets to main event WrestleMania for the brand, for his brand's title, you know, that, that sort of thing. Uh, but he, but, but as for the, but as for those that didn't win, uh, they're... How do I put this? Okay, it's kind of like Feast or Fired from, uh, you know, the old TNA days. Uh, total non-stop action wrestling, that is, okay? Um, uh, there was a poll in which uh, the voters voted for who should be fired. Okay, that's it. Sorry, I... My brain gets... I always get brain fucked, I'm sorry. But it happens to even the best of us, really. But yeah, uh, the person that was voted off was the former world heavyweight champion, Justin Bieber. Yes, Justin Bieber was the champ. And he was voted off. At, for the second time in as many seasons, mind you. But since he was voted off, uh, the world heavyweight championship is vacated. And uh, Edge... I entrusted Edge to be the, uh, you know, to keep the belt for safekeeping. And to this point, he has done his job. And of course, he will be entered into a Royal Rumble match 
in which the winner becomes the champion. And um, I will say for the record that uh, we will also have a new wrestler coming in. And uh, he will be uh, inserted into the Royal Rumble. I feel, You know, whenever I have someone new debuting, I always try to put them in a match at the Super Show if, at po- if possible. But... Uh, this, so, but this time around, we're going to have a Royal Rumble match to determine the new World Heavyweight Champion, so that's basically the big match, other than the two main events later on, but I'll get to that in a moment. Okay, the fifth match is going to be the, uh, Women's United States title, which is, it's really the Divas Championship, but I don't like the Divas name, uh, I, in fact, I hate the Div, the, I do not like the design of the belt. It looks like a butterfly, which... Is something like I mean, if you like butterflies, cool. But if you're not, but if not, then I can't do anything about it because it's the default design. I can't really change it or anything like that. But that being said, it's going to be for the women's United States t- championship, and it's going to be the challenger Melina taking on the form the artist formerly known as Becca. Her new name is Gina. And, uh, uh, I had an interview, uh, but Gina, you know, over the phone has told me not to release the, uh, the interview, so, so unfortunately the interview will be kept a secret. So, yeah, but all I can tell you from that interview was that if I, that's right, I, to Jew22, speak out as to who this person is, that that this person would summon Darth Vader to kill me. And it, it's a lot it's a legitimate threat. I am not going to say who it is. All I can tell you was that this person threatened Gina by stating that her blood will be on this person's hands. Uh as for when this person will reveal him or herself to Gina, it will be at that person's discretion or choice rather but as for Gina she'll have to focus on Melina if she wants to hold on to the United the women's United States championship okay finally the main events uh, the first of which is the first uh, elimination chamber of the night and it will be uh, it was supposed to be for the world heavyweight championship but uh, plans changed as I already told you Instead, the competitors will fight each other to determine who gets to main event at WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship. So, yeah, it's not going to be for the title itself. It's going to be who gets to go to WrestleMania to uh, face the champion. As for the competitors, uh, that's yet to be named, so I can't tell you who's going to be in it. And last, but definitely not least, the WWE title Elimination Chamber match. Uh, The competitors, I will say, uh, the confirmed competitors are the champion, Darth Vader, and five challengers, and they are as follows. Shawn Michaels, John Cena, Randy Macho Man Savage, The Big Show, and here's one that really got my head scratching, JTG. Since when has JTG ever done anything? Nevertheless, he was inserted into the match by the board of directors, and uh, this is one of those. This is just one of the few instances where I cannot do anything about it, as far as JTG is concerned. So if he wins, he wins the championship. Nothing I can do about it. Uh, sometimes working with the board of directors becomes very cumbersome. I have to admit, but. Sometimes I have my good days, sometimes I have my bad days, and just this is just one instance where I can't do anything about it as far as JTG is concerned. But, um, and uh, oh yeah, if Pikachu uh, somehow wins both the Unified Tag Team Championships and the Intercontinental title, both on the same night, I'm going to have to probably uh, uh, have another match to determine a new champion for the Intercontinental Championship. But that's if Pikachu wins both titles. If if not, then if not. So we might have extra matches, but you never know. 
In fact, by the end of this night, we'll we'll find out what questions will be answered and uh, what questions will go leading to WrestleMania. Well, thanks for uh, listening to me. Well, or, sorry. Well, thanks for uh, lending me your ears and uh, enjoy the enjoy the show. I'm gonna get the show ready and uh, I'll uh, and of course it will be in stunning HD. Well, not really, but in in dazzle quality rather. Anyways, this is Taju Twenty Two signing off, saying goodbye. And enjoy the show.